while ago, I released my last video, which was how to make a Halo Lego ghost based on Brian Kazanovich's model, right? Uh, right here, all finished, got all the purple pieces, and just as promised, I'm going to show you guys how to make Brian's uh, model or an adaptation of his warthog. So without further ado, let's get started. We've got our warthog. As promised, here it is. It has front turning wheels and back turning wheels. This isn't perfect, but I did my best. So what this is basically going to be, since it's a very complicated model and it's hard to put together, I'm going to take it apart as carefully as I can. I'm going to let you guys kind of, you got to pay attention here and really look at the pieces as I take it apart. Okay, here's how I did it. See these crossbars? These are Technic crossbars, right? The ones with the holes. Uh, I don't have an example for you right around. I probably should have done that before here. But here we go. We've got two of them stuck together. Right? Right there. Makes the front axle. Then we've got a slightly longer one here and another slightly longer one here. Then we've got the same crossbars in the sink. So that basically makes, you know, a flat piece with two angles on the sides to give you that angled look of the warthog. Uh, the turning capability is extremely difficult to figure out, or at least it was for me. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe it's really easy to figure out. Took two of these Technic pieces, right? Um, one of these. Got a, uh, I don't know what that, there's a Technic piece in there that sticks up through there. And one of these crossbars here to allow easy turning, as you can see. It's a small wheel, and I stretched a larger wheel over it to give it this big bulky shaped wheel. And then you put a cross axle in the center. And in the middle, there's just, there's no, there's no, uh, there's just one of those circular pieces, circular Lego pieces like that in the center there. You can see there's a flat piece on the inside, right? It's a uh, one, two, three, four, five by uh, four. So five by four flat piece um, plate that goes in the side so people can sit inside of it. You got the little mini dashboard, which is, um, there's a hole in this one, you can see that, and that's where you attach a black Technic piece in there. Sorry I can't really build this step by step for you guys, but it's really difficult to take apart and stuff. Let's do the front first. Put two of these on top of there, in between the wheel bearings. Here's how you make the um, the windshield. Take one of these, turn it upside down, put a hinge on it. You want to take two of those guys, stick it on the hinge piece, and put one of those one by two pieces. So what you have is you see this, stick it. Right inside, see how it goes in there? Stick it right on top of there and tilt it downwards. Here's the hood, the front part of the hood. Probably gonna have to pause the video and take a good look at this and see how it's made. Get it? Side piece, one by two, a flat piece like that. Underneath here, we've got two of those, actually four of those, you see? And there's a little one by one little flat piece under there and underneath here's how I put the tow hook on you have to get two of those hooks put inside one of these rope hooks in between them take a Technic piece it's got five holes in it you stick what is that inside there see how it, see how it attaches to those things 
You're really going to have to do some figuring this stuff out for yourself, guys. I really can't help everybody. Um, there you go. So you got to put one of those railing parts on there after the 1x2 and just stick it on. And it's not quite even. See, there's only one of these over here and 1x2. But it's pretty even. Well, at least you get the idea you can see inside. What you do is you take these two pieces right here and you stick it right on top. The side panels. Take a good look. That's how it's made. Take a good look at the back. Pop this off. You can see right inside of it. Stick that up there. This attaches to that one with the hole. See? Snap it right in. Same thing on the other side. See how that goes in there? Snap it in. Exact same thing. You got the side of the warthog. Okay. In here, you put two of these hinges on there. I'll show you why in a second. Okay. Here's Oh God, here's the back. The back steering system is much more difficult to do. I don't even know how to go about explaining this to you. Oh boy. Get a good look at it. Okay. I just want to redo all this. <laughs> Attach it on there. Make sure the bottom pieces are upside down so that they turn. Get it? Okay. Here is the back part. See how I've done this? A flat piece on there. Two of those back here. There you go. What how this goes on. See what I'm doing. Set it. So it's right on top of the hinges. Same thing on the other side. goes down like that. Now you can put a little you know turntable thing in there if you want. I don't because of other things. Here's how you make the turret or how I made the turret. You don't have to really just look at it and check out how I did it. Okay there's a ladder on top, there's two one by twos, a flat piece and that thing and this bottom piece really has to have that thing jutting out of it. You take two of these, that's attached to this. Dear Lord, the turret is difficult. Okay. Oh man, even I don't know how to make this thing. Snap it on. You got a turret, and it moves. That's how you make the Warthog, guys. You're going to really have to just take a good gander at it and try to figure it out by yourself. I know you guys are smart out there. You can ask questions uh, on the... Set. Don't send me an email. Send me a message on YouTube. But you get the basic idea for how you make the, um, the chassis. That's the key. You don't even have to do the complicated, like, steering thing. You can just stick the wheels on the chassis and you'll be much better off. Um, that's how I did it. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to build the Scorpion tank, which is much easier to build than the Warthog, believe it or not. Subscribe, check out my website, www.coobersstudios.blogspot.com, and uh, there's more video updates, and it links you to all my different stuff on the web. You can check out everything there. Uh, please subscribe to YouTube. Hope this helped. May I put out another one. Um, have a good 